DJ Burns Jr. from NC State, DJ Horn from NC State, and the most outstanding player is DJ Burns Jr. Okay, we are now joined by the uh, Duke Blue Devils, Coach John Shire and his student athletes, Jared McCain and Jeremy Roach. Um, let's take one question for Coach and then go to questions for our student athletes. Who wants to be first? I think we have one on the left side on the inside aisle, Coach. I'm Skyler Dixon with the AP. John, if you could just start kind of an assessment of today, what you thought maybe went wrong in the second half to allow NC State to take control? Yeah, well, um, first of all, look, this is, uh, this is really tough. This is not easy. And uh, congratulations to NC State. You know, they, they earned the, the win. And, uh, you know, I thought in the first half we played great defense. You know, they only scored 21 points, but uh, we never had a rhythm on offense. And... Uh, Never. And so in the second half, they started to score more. And uh, our offense just, we, uh, it's probably the most disjointed game that we've had all year. Yeah, it's, it really was. I mean, you know, I know that's the biggest differential. We've been in every single game this year. And uh, that one at the end was, you know, we're just trying to make it a couple possession game. So it's really tough. Uh, you got to give them credit for some of the shots they made and all that. Uh, but I could not be more proud of this group and this team. You know, we did this year differently. We, we didn't have a transfer. You know, we had uh, four freshmen. We had three, uh, five sophomores. Uh, you know, this group every time <laughs> we play bad, lost, they always responded and came back. And you know, part of the burden of wearing the jersey is the criticism that comes with that. And part of the amazing part about wearing this jersey is um, where all the people that stick with you through those moments. You know, I'll never forget the people that messaged me, messaged these guys, our team, in that moment after losing to Carolina NC State back-to-back -back games because those are the ones you know that are really with you, that kept believing, kept supporting. I'm, I'm, I know these guys are hurting and disappointed that we can't, couldn't get it, that we couldn't go to the Final Four and go to Phoenix for us, most importantly, but, but also for those people. And so it's, it's disappointing. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, I feel for these guys, but I'm thankful for them for everything they've done for our program and for Duke. They've been awesome to coach. So I'll let you guys ask these guys questions. Hey, thank you, Coach. Let's go to uh, Jared and Jeremy at the moment. If you're listening on Zoom and want to ask a question, please use the uh, raise hand feature, and we'll try to get you on toward the end. Uh, guys, your uh, first question will come on the aisle toward the front. Um, Ranjan Jindal, Duke Chronicle. Coach mentioned, you know, the offense and the discon, um, discombobulated nature there. What do you think went wrong offensively, and did State do anything in particular that made it tough for you guys to execute and run your sets? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, just give credit to State. Um, they're on a hell of a run right now, but uh, I think just them switching and stuff like that, um, us not moving it side to side, getting it to second side and stuff. Uh, it was, was kind of sticking. Um, I mean, that's what happens when people switch. Um, but I mean, just give credit to them. Uh, we weren't us today. Um, yeah, I mean, when they, when they were switching and stuff like that, uh, kind of took us out of our flow of our offense and, and our routine and stuff like that. So um, just give credit to them there. Uh, yeah, it was it was a switching. Um, we just got stagnant after a while. After we switched, and they were just. Um, we didn't have nothing there to attack. We just that was that was it. Toward the back in the middle. Sydney Staples, D two ten sports. Um, Jeremy, what has this specific Duke 
team meant to you over your career as a Blue Devil? Um, they meant everything to me. Um, I love these boys. Um, love the coaching staff, especially Shire. Me out, Shire's and he's he's in, he's had confidence in me since since day one. He's that he took the job, and I can't I can't I can't thank him enough. Um, but just this group was special. Um, as young as young as we are, uh, just the ups and downs of the season. Um, they just kept fighting, uh, just fighting for my uh, my senior year. They made my senior year special. Um, and like Coach said, uh, a lot of people would have folded after the, after the UNC and, and the NC State loss, but we kept fighting, we kept going, we kept this this group was so resilient. So I mean, I can't thank them enough, and these will be my brothers for the rest of my life. Okay, here on the left again, Jeremy, a little bit more on Coach Shire there. Everybody knows what he signed up for when he took the job. How do you think he's navigated that over these two years? And, and what's kind of your big picture view of where the program is? I mean, the program is, I mean, right where, where it left off. I mean, we've been top 10 in the country for both both years. I mean, we've been, got to Elite Eight this year. Um, but like, people don't know how hard this job is that, uh, people don't know how hard this job is that, I mean, you're taking over after the GOAT. Like, like that's not that's not easy work. So I mean, just give credit to him. He's always instilling confidence in us every day, um, whether we're messing up or not. Like he's he just always has that strong face. And then like a lot of people would have folded in, in this situation. And like all the all the criticism that 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 people say. I mean, it's unacceptable. Like there's no reason there's no reason for that. Um, like if if somebody wanted to do it, like try try doing this job and, and see how easy it is and stuff. So um, I mean, just give credit to Coach Shire. I mean, I'm gonna love him. I love him. I think we now will move to the far back on the right. Matt Giles, Blue Devil Country. Um, Jared, you've had a memorable impact here on this program in a very short time. Can you just talk a little bit about what Duke has meant to you and what this team has meant to you coming here all the way across the country? Yeah, I mean, um, <clears throat> it's meant uh, everything to me. Uh, to come here for for coach to believe in me, um, for my teammates to believe in me, um, especially in the beginning of the year when uh, I felt like you know I couldn't get things going as a freshman, um, they instilled confidence in me, uh, especially him right here. Any other questions for uh, our student athletes? I don't see any hands and one on Zoom. Okay, guys, we'll let you return to the locker room. I know there's going to be some uh, media there to see you. Thanks for being with us in North Texas this week, and congratulations on a really terrific season. We enjoyed having you. Questions for Coach Shire now. I think we have one by the curtain. If we can get the microphone over there. Connor O'Neill with Devils Illustrated. John, when they got rolling in the second half, I know asking you to second guess it 20 minutes after the fact is a tough deal, but what could have gone differently to get them out of an offensive rhythm? Well, I have to go back and watch the film for sure. Um, but I thought it was our offense that hurt our defense. You know, I mean, we just, it, it gives a team, especially these guys, it gives them life when you miss an open three, you get the rebound. And then you throw it to them for a fast break, or you, you know, give them runouts, and uh, the whole game changes. So for me, it's it really our defense was a product of our offense, and um, that was a start. And uh, you know, look with with Burns and Horn, they're obviously they they've done this a lot to other people, but you can't let both of them get going. And you know, Burns we could live with. To a certain extent, although I still think some of those, it's again, he got laid and all that, but again, he hurt us, no question. Um, but we couldn't let Horn get going, also. And I think there are some breakdowns there that I'll have to go back and watch and see, but that was, uh, you can't let them both get going. Other questions for Coach? Okay. Here on the inside aisle, left side. John, you know what the standard is here, and you know twice you've tried to get to the Final Four, haven't gotten there yet. What's your view of of where things are, and uh, and 
and how this job has stacked up for you, and what have these two years been like? Yeah, to be honest with you, I'm not thinking about my job in these two years. I'm thinking about the fact that this group just came back after having a tough ACC tournament loss and have played their hearts out in three tournament games, and they're winning at halftime, and they're heartbroken after the game because it didn't go the way they wanted to. I'm thinking about these guys. You know, where, where's our program at? I think our program couldn't be in a stronger place. Just, we were just 20 minutes away from going to a Final Four in our second year. And, uh, you know, I don't shy away from our expectations or what we want to do. But for me, that's not the way I'm thinking at all. I'm just hurting for these guys right now. That's a tough loss. I've always used the motivation in my time at Duke from the things that happened. Some of the most heartbreaking moments in my career have happened at Duke. We didn't go to a Sweet 16 until my junior year. We didn't go to a Final Four or National Championship until my senior year. You have to continue. Like, culture is the hardest thing to have and to build, and you're doing it now with – we did this with a fresh group. We had Jeremy Roach and Jalen Blakes. I'm so proud of these guys. Like what Jared McCain has done as a freshman in the NCAA tournament is special. And we'll have to regroup and figure out who you have coming back and coming in and all that stuff. But for me, I couldn't be more confident in where this thing is heading and what we're doing. So, but that's not where my mind is at in the least bit. Okay, well, we will stay on coach's left on the aisle. Coach, you guys, you know, dealt with a lot of adversity, especially with injuries throughout the season. Could you just talk about how your team has, you know, stepped up and responded whenever their number has been called throughout the year, especially with a lot of those, those no. injuries? Well, well, to be honest with you, I don't think that's talked about, right? I mean, it's – for us, it's – you need to be a little fortunate with some things. And, look, it's part of the game. You know, like that's that's the way it is. You have to have – that's why you have a team. That's why you need other guys to step up. Uh, happened in Houston last game. That's how it goes. We played the whole postseason without Caleb Foster, who's been a key guy for us. You know, last year in the tournament was without Mark. And so, you know, obviously that's uh, hurt our continuity, no question. But that's no excuses. Like that's part of it. And, you know, we have to continue to – you know, have a team where if somebody goes down, we can step up, which these guys did. You know, I thought our backcourt was terrific the whole year, even stepping up without Caleb, Jalen Blakes, the minutes that he gave us. Uh, but continuity is important, and we'll have to figure out how to do that better next year. Closing questions now for Coach Shire. Extreme ride by the curtain. Adam Rowe, the Devil's Den. Um, Coach, I know you said it's tough for you to kind of take a step back and look big picture after a game like this, but you guys were the only team that didn't have a transfer in and out um, this last year in the age of the transfer portal. Um, will, will a result like this or how things went this season, will that, will that impact the way you look to build the roster going forward um, instead of going heavy on the recruiting trail? Maybe look for some guys to the portal. Again, I'm not there, you know, right now, but I'll, I'll tell you it's – I'm proud of – how we've done it in a unique way. And just because you do something this way this year, I mean, look, that's not going to happen for next year. There's just no way. Like, it's, there's too much. It's been such a blessing coaching basketball games. And every day you see hundreds of kids go in the transfer portal. And that's just the world we live in. We're, excuse me. We're going to continue to adapt and adjust with all that. But you're always looking for balance. And when you have our team this year, when you have a Filipowski, when you have a Mitchell, a Proctor, those guys come back, well, you always want to build from within if you can. And so getting those guys returning where you have a relationship, you've been through some battles together, there's always value in that. But, uh, you know, again, I'm not going to give you – any big answers on what we're going to do this offseason or next year. We're just – we have to digest this loss first, which will take some time. Like, this is we, – we've experienced this postseason, some of the, the beauty of the tournament, and this is the heartbreak of it. And that's uh, – we have to figure out why.
All right, Coach, thank you so much. Congratulations on a terrific season. Thanks for being with us.